Hello, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sand. And if you wanted to learn Pipeline today, then you're in the right place. Because today I'm going to teach you how to play Pipeline. And that's coming up. guitar guide channel and if you're new to the channel hello my name is Sharon your guitar guide helping you find your sound have a look around the channel if you like what you see consider subscribing for more guitar tips and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a new video for those of you who have already subscribed thanks for supporting the channel so let's get to it and learn how to play pipeline and by the way I made the tab for this so you can get the link in the description area below to help you learn the song so first we're going to start on the sixth string and we're about the eleventh fret and we're going to slide and that's the hardest part of the whole song is figuring out that uh, So just like everything in guitar, practice bits and pieces till you get it perfected and then go to the next part. When we get to the third fret is where the slide ends. And then you put your first finger on the uh, second fret of the fifth string. And then you're going to pick the open E string, and then pick the fifth string, and then pick the sixth string. Place your second figure on the third fret of the sixth string. And we're not, we need to use this part of our hand and place it you're gonna have to figure out where closer to the uh, bridge of the guitar place it there until you get the right sound so you don't want might take practice doing that so see how it sounds different and don't worry about speed right now just practice making it sound right the next part is and like I said there's tab get the link below it'll make it a lot easier so we we're still on the second fret of the fifth string so we're gonna go open D string, fourth string, then pick the second fret of the D string, cover it, pick it, fourth fret of the D string, back to the second fret of the D string, so got, it's hard to do slow. So after we get back to the second fret of the D string, it's open, D, and pick the D, cover the second fret of the D and pick it again, then open again. Back to 
to the fourth fret of the D string. So it's after the fourth fret of the D string. We're back to the second fret of the D string. Back to the fourth fret of the D string. Back to the second fret of the D string. Open D string. Cover the second fret again. Open D string, then second fret of the A string. That might seem a little tricky, but once you get that, the the next part of the song is the same. You just, instead of playing on the fifth string, you're going to start on the D string. So it's... That should be easy enough. Same as what you just learned. Then it goes like this. We're going to cover the A string at the second fret using your third finger you're gonna cover the D string at the fourth fret and so what you want to do is press on the strings and pick both the strings A and D at the same time fit them fourth string at the same time and then lift up not completely off the strings, but just release the tension. And pick it again. Then slide up to the third fret. So then the next part is we go to the fifth fret of the sixth string. So we're covering the fifth fret of the sixth string with our first finger. And we're toggling back and forth between that and using the third finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string. slide down to the third fret with your first finger and we're going to do the same thing using the third fret toggling back and forth between on the third finger fifth fret sixth string then it goes Repeats it all. Then there's another part that goes like this. Does this part twice. What that is, you start on the fifth fret of the G string, third string. Pick the seventh fret of the D string twice. G string on the fifth fret. On the seventh fret of the D string, pick so it twice. Back to the G string on the fifth fret, and then the ninth fret of the G string. Seventh fret of the G. 
So it's when you get back to the fifth fret of the G string, you pick it twice, then you slide to the fourth fret of the G string. The sixth fret of the G. Pick it once and then twice on the fifth back fret to the G, of the G string. string. Seventh fret of the G string. Back to the fourth fret of the G string. G. So, fourth fret of the G string, seventh fret of the G string, twice. Fifth fret of the G string, fourth fret of the G string, slide to two. Third fret of the D string. Back to G on the 2nd fret, 5th fret of the G, 4th fret of the G, so it's fourth fret of the G string, 5th fret of the D string twice. Fourth fret of the G string, seventh fret of the G, fifth fret of the G, back to the fourth fret of the G string. So it's So you do that twice and on the last part it goes second fret of the G string third fret of the D string twice fifth fret of the G string fourth fret of the G string second fret of the G string slide to the first fret of the G string. So if you learned anything new in this video, can you give me a thumbs up, like the video, leave me a comment, tell me what you'd like to hear on this channel. And don't forget to watch these videos next.